Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Baltimore Orioles going up against the New York Yankees. And now, your new First your pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The wind of the pitch. Off the mark there. Ball three. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound. Sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that and it gets by him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Fought off foul. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. This to third. Off balance speed. There's one. And it's a double play. Two outs. Base is empty. Anthony Santander. The next to hit for the Orioles. Ball to strike. No score just getting started. Top of the first. That one in for a strike, two and two. Establishing both ends of the zone is critical. Most times guys are wanting to get hitters out down, but if you can get them to look up, get a called strike, that's going to make that strike zone a lot bigger. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Back in New York, and stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. The wide to kick the pitch. Bounce back to the mound. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good that count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Aaron Judge at the plate. The next offering misses, and it's 2-1. and one. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strike zone to boot. That's critical, very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plank discipline as well. And a swing and a miss. One down. Here's Joey Gallo. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Swing and a miss, and a count one and two. Stanton, a guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate, but he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. Good job of just putting the ball in play with that two strikes. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the Go. infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And a swing and a miss. He's a guy that's changed his stance over time. It's been a little more open, straight up, and now more closed. One thing hitters will do, it's not so much about the stance, but it's what it does to the brain in terms of resetting and how they approach the pitcher. Ground ball up the middle. The throw to first. Play made. That ends the inning. Back in the Bronx. Second inning set to go. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Trey Mancini. He 
In the air, right side. Judge cutting across. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. And now it's Austin Hayes. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. This one in the air, right field. Judge is under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Orioles, Ramon Urias. The wind of the pitch. That's off the mark. And now three and one. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. Next offering in the dirt. And it's two and one. And the pitch. Yep, that ball went out. Out to short. And that's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Kelvin Gutierrez, the next to hit for the Orioles. Swing and a miss, and that is that. in the Bronx bottom half of inning number two and stepping in for the Yankees Glaber Torres and now the lefty swing and a miss it's a ball and two strikes looking at Torres have to say he's one of the most impressive young players that one ripped bounces over the wall in foul ground it's an automatic double here's Aaron Hicks Next one is off the play. Two and one. When you think about it, he may be in the league for the next 10 or 15 years. The pitch. Runner at second, nobody out. Bounced up the middle. Quips it to Mountcastle. Just got him on that one. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball left side. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Next offering is foul back. Oh, that ball got him pretty good out there on the mound. Play at the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And it's 1-0. One, one gone runner at first. And up next for New York, Kyle Higashioka. Comes a 2-2. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two away. Up next so the batting order turns over. And next for New York, Anthony, Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo. The pitch. Eight. And a strike in there. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Eight. Checks over to first. Back safely. Connor Falefa, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is foul back. Pitch misses inside. It's two and two. Bounce to the left side. Sneaks through. Base hit. Throw in. Holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. It's Aaron Judge now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. 
Two on, two outs. Going to count one and two. And the pitch stays alive. You know, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting a ground ball and getting out of this little jam. The pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And now the count filled up three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Two outs. And he walked him. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. And now it's Joey Gallo. Bases loaded, two down. Here it comes. On the ground, right side. Base hit, one run in already. Now a long throw home. It's offline, and he scores. It's three zip. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Next pitch downstairs. Yeah, that's ball two. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence. And Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. This one blasted the other way, down the line, and it's a foul ball. The pitch. This one in the air, center field. Mullins should have this one. Squeezes it, and that is that. now in the Bronx and now the catcher comes up to hit Robinson Chirinos the wind and the pitch swing and a miss that's strike two filthy change up right there just pulled the string and a swing and a miss leadoff hitter gone in the third Cedric Mullins the next to hit for the Orioles Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Close pitch there, but you got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. Cole, a check to first, and he's back in there. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. In there for strike three. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Back at Yankee Stadium. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. Two two now been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Got him. One away. Here is the young phenom, Glaber Torres. One for one with a double and a run score. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball popped up. Mountcastle settles under this one and makes the grab. 
Two up, two down. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And a pitch. Oh, that's off the plate. Swings and misses. And the count is even two and two. That one ran inside, almost got him. This has always been the better side for Aaron Higgs. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back for more from the Bronx. Start of the fourth. And into the box for Baltimore. Anthony Santander. The pitch. That's out to center field. Hicks makes his way towards it. And there's one down. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt his shoulder, diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Two outs, base is empty. Now here is Austin Hayes. And one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. That misses the zone, and the count is two and two. And that one upstairs. Boog, I'm not sure how he took that right there. I mean, that was an incredible two-strike pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back here in New York, bottom four. And stepping in for the Yankees, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And he deals. That one lifted to left. Hayes moving under this one. He makes the grab, and there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Next one misses two and one. Singy four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan and he said to me hey kid you hit a home run in the game tonight come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit and a pop-up right side foul territory Mountcastle makes the play and there's two down that hanging breaking ball looks so juicy to the hitter and now nothing back. more frustrating First when base. you miss that pitch and Anthony. you pop out he's gonna have to think about that till his next at bat 2-2 two -two now and down on strikes. Third out. New inning getting started. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ramon Urias. And the righty deals. Out to center. Hicks is there for it. And out number one on the grab. So next to hit for Baltimore, Rubnet Odor. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes, count. Next offering is foul back. and miss struck him out 
That's the second out. And next for the Orioles, Kelvin Gutierrez. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, and he chases that one. That's his second strikeout. Back at Yankee Stadium, now the number two hitter, Aaron Judge. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And a pitch. Chopped left side. To first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now back, left field. Joey. Yellow. The one two. There's a swing and a drive. That ball's carrying. And it's out of here. Joey Gallo with a shot to the opposite field. And they add a run. It's 4 nothing. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. That one hammered center field. That's back there. And it's gone. Giancarlo Stanton goes deep. And they add a run. It's 5-zip. So they turn things over to the righty, Jorge Lopez. He's into the game with the bases empty. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Bases empty, one away. Here's Josh Donaldson. That was the emergency hack right there. Here's a one-two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One and two here. Donaldson checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. He did not go around. And now two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Up next two game. outs, base is empty. Here's Glaber Torres. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in it. Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. Welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now the Orioles catcher, Robinson Chirinos. Swing and a miss. One and now one and two. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The punch out there. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Next to hit, Cedric Mullins. Cedric. The one, two. Out to short, Connor Falefa collects, sends it across the first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. And there's a ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings and misses. And the inning is over. Bottom of the six. Now here's Aaron Hicks. Right-handed reliever. And that one pulled foul. Righty delivers. Way inside, gets out of the way. Righty to the plate. Popped up right side. Odor moving under it. 
Falls it in, and there's one away. Isaiah Kiner Falefa stepping in now for the Yankees. The 1 1. Lined into right. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Next pitch misses. Two and one. At the belt and fires. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Mullins has a beat on it. Brings it in. Two down. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. The batter, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Lopez with a move to first. Connor Falefa dives back in. The 1-1, one -one. the he's kick going. and the pitch. Runner goes. It's a pitch out. Yes, Throw to second. Out. Ow! And that will end the inning. Set for the start of the inning. Anthony Santander at the plate. Three balls, two strikes the count. Now this is in the air down the line. Gallo turns to the right on the move. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. Trey Mancini now. Designated hitter. And a count one and two. Kicks and deals. No. Swung on, popped up left side. And a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. You'll take those blue pits off the end of the bat all day long. It doesn't mean you put a great swing on it, but hitters deserve to get a lucky hit every now and then. Now, Austin Hayes. Next offering is foul back. And the right hater deals. Just a slow ground ball this time. Donaldson tosses the first in time. Barely got him for the out close play. And into the box for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. And the pitch. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. That's a third out. Back in New York, and here is Anthony Rizzo. The 3 1. Swing at a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. And the pitch. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one away. Man at first. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Ground ball right side could be two. Mountcastle over to second. Back to first for two, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, ready to begin the eighth. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Rubnet Odor. Left hand batter waits. Right side, hard hit. He'll do it himself, and that's one away 
as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Kelvin Gutierrez, the next to hit for the Orioles. High fly ball out at a left center field. Out number two. And now the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. The one, two. Good eye right there. Two, two now. Next offering misses down and away. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. It's not easy laying off that pitch. It's designed to fool you, but he just wasn't fooled at all. Here's a 1-2. And the 1-2 misses to even the count. Next pitch is outside. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. In the air, left side. Gallo racing over to make the catch. And welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. There's Stanton now. And a one-two. Swing and a line drive caught. And up next for New York, Josh Donaldson. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Out to short. And it gets by him. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Breaking ball was in a decent spot down and in, but he did a really nice job getting to it before it tied him up. Here is Glaber Torres. Donaldson leads off first with one away. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. All over that one right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Taron Hicks now. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. The pitch. In the dirt. But no advance from the runners. The pitch. And fouled off. Second and third here. One away. And he hits a ground ball right side. Has some trouble with it. Throw to first for the out as the run comes in from third. Isaiah Kiner-Falefa digs in now. One for three. Swing and a base hit. In comes the run from third. It's seven to nothing. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Picks himself up an RBI. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. They limit the damage here. at Yankee Stadium. We go to the ninth. Stepping in the long ball threat, Ryan Mountcastle. He 
He's been so sharp today, even over 100 pitches thrown. This skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. That one in for a strike, two and two. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So next to hit for Baltimore, Anthony Santander. Here's a 1-1. And that's in there at the knees. Next offering is in the dirt. Kicks and fires. Popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. And now the DH, Trey Mancini. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. Next pitch is outside. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Clay Holmes into the game, and he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Two outs, runner at first. Austin Hayes, the next to hit for the Orioles. Swing and a miss. One and two. Down to their final strike. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Gallo ranging to his right. He's got it. Ball game. The Yankees use two pitchers to combine for the shutout. When win by seven runs, it's a real encouraging game all the way around. The hitters feel good about what they did in this one, but the pitchers also know that if they get into a little bit of a jam, they know the offense is very capable of putting up runs. Good job. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.